Welcome back guys. Okay, so let's sort out a little problem here where a member cannot see other members. Uh, I could have uh, fixed the problem on without recording the fixing part and just tell you what the answer is, but I think it's important to see the troubleshooting uh, issue here. So I don't actually know what the problem is, so I just want to record the whole troubleshooting process. So the first thing we have to check here is just to make sure that we didn't type anything wrongly here. So I'll come to the if statement here. So there's members, there's uh, that. So right here, I didn't notice that I used members. It should be member with a single, because these are, let me come back here to the, just to confirm that. Okay, so you see it's actually member here as a row, not members. So it just means it should be a member. So let's see if that sorts the problem. Maybe that was it. So I will refresh. Okay, clearly it wasn't. So at least that's one problem done. Uh, member. So since we are, we are not able to pass through here, it means this is where the issue is. So let's find uh, where this function resides. And that's in the functions.php. So let's find group uh, access. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. So I want to confirm here what data I'm actually receiving. So the first thing I want to see is what the user ID is, what the group data is, and what access I am getting. So let's use the function show to do stuff here. So first of all, I want to see who the user ID is and compare that with my database. So let me come back here and refresh. So this is the user ID. Okay, so let's go to here and see user ID 204, 829 at the end. So 829, 20. So that is correct. Okay, at least one thing is correct. And let's look at group data now. Let's make sure that the group ID is correct as well. So come back here, refresh. So where's the group ID? Group ID in this case, case is user ID. So 3761, 109 at the end. So 3761, 109. Okay, so that is correct. And then the row is member, I'm assuming. So the access here, let's come back here and see that one. We are expecting to get member. And that is true. Okay, so member. Mm -hmm. Very good. So all the information we are getting here is uh, top notch. It's good. So why isn't this returning true? Let's find out. So first of all, let's look at the query itself. So here, usually the query has a, a thing or two to do with the problem. So I'll use the function show again. I'll show the query here. So refresh. Uh -huh. So I'm only looking at the one in members here because that's the one with the fault. So where group ID is that, where user ID is that, and row is equal to member, row is equal to admin, or row is equal to moderator limit one. So this all seems fine to me. Let me actually uh, copy this <clears throat> and let's go. So you copy the, the query and then you go to your SQL tab just make sure that you have the correct database selected here. And then let's paste that and see if we actually get an answer here. So let's click go and see. Okay, so we have an error in our SQL. So it says, uh, select, it's saying unknown column user in a field list. You don't say. Wait, unknown column user, where? In the field list. Ooh. Oh my god, this is uh, the issue here. So I wanted this to select the user ID. So there's no column named user. Oof, something I missed. I don't know how I missed that. It's quite a big thing. I'm getting sloppy. Okay, so I'll copy all these and say select user ID. So just put ID at the end, select all. 
yeah this is why i just prefer to say select all instead of selecting a column eh, my bad okay so re refresh and there we go so everything uh, looking good now yeah we have two members i can see the members here very very nice mm. okay so let's make sure that people who are not part of this group do not see anything yes maybe they can see the posts because it's a public one but they cannot post so let's go back to users and let's find a user that we haven't used yet so i'm going to use peter what are his login credentials here anyway uh peter or john let's try john shall we john at yahoo.com so let's log out and log in as john password is the same for all of these there we go yes so these are john's friends and if i click on groups no groups were found too bad john you don't belong to any group but what if i typed in here directly and say group bam okay so i can see the group i can ask to join the group i can try to invite people to the group but maybe you know invitation should be reserved for people who actually are part of the group i think that makes sense and i can't see members here no which is good also i can see the posts but i cannot see uh where to post from i cannot post let's see what happens when i click on comment okay so i can see the post itself but i cannot comment on this so this is perfect yes now let's try and change it so that it's private and let's see what the commoner will see who is not part of the page so private uh -huh. save and let's refresh now okay so join the group to see what the members are up to yeah but it's important that invite i think should not be here only join should be there invite should only for people who are members already so back here uh -huh. uh, sorry there let me edit i want to edit this back to a uh, public group yes so refresh okay so let's go back to groups here for a second the group okay so i want to hide the invite button so it's very easy to do that because i already have the if statement which is required and this is the one for members so copy and let's go to uh, group.php and let me just search for invite shall i actually it's on the wait a minute wait a minute it's here so it should be on group.php should it not oh this one is the one in classes so where are you group.php not the one inside classes that's the one so find invite and this is the one right here so i will put my if statement right there and put end if which i will copy there and put end if right there so member only hmm so if now I refresh, I do not see the invite button. Very, very nice. Now let's log out and log in as one of the members to see if I can see the, the invite button. So password. Let me go to my groups and click on the group. And now I can see the invite and not the join because I'm already joined very very nice so far i think everything is working great yeah good all right so i will see you in the next video